Sasha Banks, a.k.a. Mercedes Monet, is expected to debut next week with AEW. But this week, she's talking about her WWE departure. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling. And Mercedes Monet has been busy. Not only is she getting set to return to a mainstream wrestling company, but she was on the Kick Rocks Wrestling podcast and she opened up about her departure from the WWE in 2022. She also opened up about mental health and online bullying via social media. And we'll look at that in a little minute. But first we're gonna have a we're gonna dive straight in to her leaving the WWE, essentially what my thoughts on it are. And uh, do I think she was hard done by? In WWE. Well, first, let's look at what Mercedes Monet had to say. She says, quote, Something told me I needed to do this and stand up for myself. It was a very hard decision because wrestling in WWE has been my whole life. Hardest decision I've ever had to make in my whole life, but it's the most proudest. It's the crazy. It's because I would not be sitting here living the best version of my life and getting to be everything I've ever dreamt of and more. That moment changed my whole life for the better. I'm so thankful for that moment. So proud of myself. So proud of Trinity. So proud of how strong we were. I just know that everybody acted like they were in the room or worked there or were backstage or knew what happened or knew what was said. But all I know is I handled it like a CEO, like a boss that I am. With my head held up high, I can't say nothing but amazing things to WWE, so thankful for the career they gave me, the fans gave me, the life they gave me, the dreams they gave me, end of quote. So Mercedes Monet talking about why she left WWE, not really addressing the matter, not really saying anything uh, that we haven't heard before, but basically saying that she felt she had to stick up for herself, she felt like the time was right to make a stand, she did make a stand, basically saying that she deserved more, she deserved a lot more than what she was currently getting. And I actually can agree with her in that department. I, I think that Mercedes Monet, or as she was known in WWE, Sasha Banks, I think she was probably undervalued as a performer. I look at Sasha Banks and I, I think that she should have been given the title reigns. I think she should have been given the opportunities, the main events, the headlines, as such wrestlers like Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair were getting. I don't know why Sasha Banks has never really been treated as that top star. Even when you look at all her title reigns, most of them are forgettable. A lot of them weren't really long. A lot of times she was like a transitional champion or she would win the belt then like lose it. The very next pay-per-view, you try and think of memorable, long championship reigns where Sasha Banks won the belt and then defended it against multiple credible challengers. And I can't really think of any title reigns that fit that mould. So, yeah, for me, you look at her title reigns, a lot of them were underwhelming, no doubt about that. Now, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe she's not the company woman. Maybe she's not reliable. Maybe she doesn't work hard. Maybe she's not got the same sort of attitude that a Becky Lynch, for example, does have. But when I look at talent, when I look at character, I see no reason as to why Becky and Charlotte have been pushed and then the likes of Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. I don't see why they are constantly getting like shoved down our throats, yet Sasha Banks never really got that treatment. When I think of Sasha Banks, I think you can compare her a little bit to Asuka. Every time Asuka got the belt, they literally just dropped the ball and had her lose it straight away. Like, Asuka on the main roster hasn't really had a good title reign, hasn't really had a memorable run, and I think the same can be said for Sasha Banks. Now, Sasha Banks did have that main event with uh, Bianca Belair at WrestleMania, but you felt that was more for Bianca Belair. You felt like that was more because they wanted to push Bel Air as the next woman, you know, the, the up and coming star, even though she's older than Sasha Banks. You felt like that match was made to propel Bianca Bel Air and not really to propel or to reward or to show any sort of trust in Sasha Banks. So I actually kind of understand where she's coming from, but is she obnoxious? Yes. Is she egotistical? 
Yes, but I mean, has she maybe got a point when you look at like the likes of Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch who overused, overpushed, overbooked, oversaturated, over everything. They've been shoved down our throats and I don't think they were really deserving. And when I look at Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair, in the terms of ability, I don't think they deserve to have the sort of careers they've had. Then I look at Sasha Banks, are they that much better? Are they even better? I mean, I, I personally just don't see it. Like I said, it could be an attitude thing though. I mean, maybe Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch are, <laughs> maybe they're easier to work with. Maybe they're more loyal to the company. I mean, they didn't quit on the company, I guess, like Sasha Banks did. I know Sasha Banks wasn't happy with her position. A lot of people hold that against her. Although it kind of gives me more of an old feel schooling where wrestlers would try and protect their position on the card, try and protect their character, try and get more money, get a better place on the card. So for me, I kind of prefer that Sasha Banks is a little bit more outspoken and that she believes she deserves what she's worth. Now, whether she's worth it or not, I mean, who knows? She did quit the WWE. I mean, Austin done it. Punk done it. It took Punk 10 years to get back into the WWE. I mean, how long will it take Sasha Banks to get back in? Will she ever get back in? I mean, who knows? Might not have been the greatest decision. But I do think, looking back, that Sasha Banks has been hard done by by wrestling. I, I think that she should have had a better career in WWE. I think she should have had more titles. I think she should have had better title reigns. That is just my opinion. On the podcast, though, she also spoke about mental health and online bullying. And she had the following to say, quote, Social media is so mean. People don't understand that. Us celebrities, we legit get bullied and harassed online every single day. And people are like... Well, it's part of the business. You guys can take it. It's taken years to toughen my skin because I would read things and be like, somebody called me this and think that I'm this and break down for people's comments. Like, people do that. People get so hurt. People's comments, they take their lives. I told myself, you can't let comments. Who knows if they are spam bots or you see these people in real life and go, oh, ah, you let these people hurt you. You let words hurt you. we got to be stronger, more powerful as a community and as people to not let words affect us so hard that we're breaking down, having mental health issues that we want to think the worst. It's like these are just words, bots. We have no idea who are behind the internet. The internet is going to keep on getting crazy. We're in the Terminator era. You just got to be strong. Know who you are. I know who I am. It's just knowing I don't want no words to interrupt my life. And I can't let any words hurt my life because I won't. End of quote. So, I mean, I just disagree really with this whole take on celebrities where they claim they are the only ones getting abuse. Everybody gets abuse online, whether you're a massive celebrity, or whether you're a small-time YouTube channel like ourselves, or whether you're just somebody that has a social media account. You could have a Facebook account, an Instagram account, and I guarantee you it may not happen a lot, but there will be times where some random person that you do not know comments on your picture or comments on a post that you made whether it be political beliefs or i don't know personal beliefs or a physical appearance they will comment something nasty or they will comment something rude and they will try and put you down now obviously celebrities are going to get more of this because they have a higher following they're more well known but on the bright side celebrities are also going to get more praise Sasha Banks is also going to get more positive comments from fans than a normal person is. So, I mean, it works both ways. Will celebrities get more hate online? Absolutely. But they'll also get more love. So, I mean, I think they need to take that into consideration. I think you just need to have a thicker skin. I mean, if you're a celebrity and you're making good money, like, why the fuck would you care about what some loser pro that's trolling online? I mean, if someone's got the time to just troll online and say bad things about you, I mean, they're not making money from that. They're not gaining anything positive from that. So, what does that really say about them? Why would you let some loser fucking affect you. I just don't get it, guys. No loser's going to affect us here on Fog Wrestling. So, yeah, that is it. Sasha Banks probably going to debut next week on AEW, according to the rumours. I didn't think it would happen. I kind of still hope it doesn't happen. I think she should come back to WWE, but we'll have to wait and see, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Being Fog Wrestling, thanks for watching, and peace.